So over here you can see that I have a video clip with audio uh, attached to it inside of the editing piece. And then if I were to go around and hold Alt and select out this clip and drag, then you can see that the audio timing and the video timing is off and it is showed by this red area right here. If I were to right click right here, then of course I can move into place right here. And if I were to press Ctrl Z, then I go back. So over here, there's other options as well. For example, there's slip into place right here. And if I were to select this, then what happens is that uh, it actually uh, cuts out the further um, uh, sections right here and then arranges um, uh, the audio clip back right here. I can right, uh, I can press Ctrl Z and right click over here on this section. Move to place is you just push out the audio on the original place. But if I were to go to slip others into place, then what happens is that the video actually goes around and then uh, comes to the place right here, as you can see, where our, as the further section of the video actually gets cut. Let me just press Ctrl Z again. And if I were to right click, you can see that move others into place is an option as well. And if I were to click on this, then you can see that the video clip will now move around over here um, alongside the audio, just like this. So that is how you can slip move and move others into place inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.